Hello everyone and welcome to the account me and video tutorial of the software that we created this semester. Just for reference, this software was created using the mean stack. And during this tutorial, I'll just go over some of the features and functionalities we included in the software this semester. So first up, we have our user registration login screen for forgot password features. For any user to be able to log in or use account me in, they must first be registered and their accounts must be activated. And for a user to register, they must first click on the register button located right next to the login button here. Once clicked, the button will take the user to this registration page in which they have to enter their first, last, username, and password. Users must enter an original username for it to be able to register. If the desired username has already been taken, then the software will let the user know through an error message. The password must contain at least six characters for the user to be able to register the account, otherwise the registration will not proceed. And once the registration process has been completed, the user must wait for approval by the administrator before logging into the software is allowed. Once the user has been approved by an administrator, they will be able to log into the software by using their username and password. And in the case the user has forgotten their password, they can use this forgot password functionality here. For example, if I'm an accountant and I forget my password, then a request gets sent to the administrator to reset my password for me. So if we log in here as an admin, we have alerts set right here for request to password reset for the accountant, which we just did. So we're going to go over here to user activation and user account screen. All new users are deactivated by default in order to maintain the data within the uh, software secure. For a user to be activated, the administrator must activate it on the user's account page by clicking on the activate button, which every user we have here is currently active. But we can deactivate a user as well. An administrator may also go in and reset any user's password. Um, we can see if the account is active or not. It's the type of account, we can go and change the type of account. First, last name, and username. We may also, as an admin, create new users as well. Now moving on to the chart of accounts, we can see here um, how we can create a new account in our chart of accounts. Accounts can only be created by administrators and for them to do that they must go to the chart of accounts page and click on the new account button which is where we are now. Once the button is clicked it will send the user to this account creation page where the administrator will be able to register a new account. Account numbers must be original and must not be taken already otherwise the account will not be registered on the system. Once an account has been registered, it will show up on the chart of accounts list here. And accounts can only be deactivated or activated by an administrator. And for them to deactivate an account, it must have zero dollars in funds. To activate and deactivate an account, the administrator must click on the deactivate or activate button located on the chart of accounts button or page. Even though accountants and managers cannot add new accounts, they can request a new account to be added or a current account to be updated through the update or add account button located on the journalizing page, which we'll head over to now. Log in as a manager. Go over to journalize. And we can request for an update or add an account here. So new journal entries, Again, we go to the journalize function, which managers and accountants have, the administrators do not have the journalizing feature. Managers and accountants are the only ones that can add new journal entries to the ledger, which will alter the accounts and the overall information on each of the documents. For a new journal entry to be created, the user must be on the Journalize page and click on the New Entry button.
Once clicked, it'll allow the user to add the necessary information and data to create a new journal entry. Here, the user is able to choose the type of entry being added, choose the accounts being affected, the amount of funds on the debits and the credits, add more debits or credits, upload a file related to the entry, and add a description of the entry being submitted. The date and time of the entry will be generated by real-time date and hour. Once everything has been filled out, the user can proceed and the new entry will be waiting for approval from the manager, as we can see down here. We can approve, as a manager, we have the ability to approve or decline new entries. For a journal entry to affect the accounts, it must first be approved by a manager. For a manager to approve a journal entry, we must go into the journalizing tab, which where, is where we are now. Select the pending option. And here we can see the journal entries that we have waiting for us. Here are approved journal entries. And we do not have any declined at this time. Once a journal entry has been approved or declined, it'll appear on the respective page when choosing what status to be shown. If a journal entry is approved, it will change the accounts specified on that entry. So whenever an account has received changes, it will be recorded on the t-table of that specified account. In order to access it, the user must click on the account's name on either the Journalize page or the Chart of Accounts page. So we can click on Service Revenue and it will take us to the Service Revenue t-table. Every journal entry done generates a reference code, which the user can click in order to see the specific journal entry that affected the account. So here we can see J1, this journal entry affected the account. For the user to do that, must click or must access the t-table of the account and then click the reference code, which we just did. Once the user clicked on it, it will show up the affected, the journal entry which affected the account. So now we can move on to trial balance and post-closing trial balances. So managers and accountants have the ability to access the trial balance and post-closing trial balance pages, which will display the most up-to-date trial balance. These trial balances are affected in real time by all the changes done by the users on the journal entries. The users are also able to download the report and save it to your machine. And we can see here too the adjusted trial balance. See the format. Now we're going to move over to income statement. Managers and accountants have access to the income statement, balance sheet, and the statement of retained earnings. In these pages, the user will be able to see the most up-to-date information as well as having the ability to check previous data from previous dates by selecting on specific dates in the calendar. You see the pop-up and we can click back and see previous dates. We'll just stay on the current date. Just as with the trial balances, the user is able to download a report on either the most up-to-date date or older income statements, balance sheets, or state of retained earnings by clicking the download button here, which we had demonstrated before. Now moving on to logs, all users have access to the logs page where they're able to see any change made by any of the users at any time. The log records events from new entries added to user activation, etc. So as we can see here, a manager on December 3rd, 2018 at 9.39 p.m. approved a journal entry. Before he approved it or she approved it, the status was pending. Afterwards, they changed it to approved. 
we can search for everything that managers have done. Admin or accountant, which we might not have anything from an accountant currently. It looks like we don't. And the final feature we'd like to demonstrate is the page what we landed on first. And all users have access to this page, and it's the dashboard. Um, this gives an overview, a ratio analysis on our current financial status of all of the accounts in the chart of accounts. And with that, thank you for giving us your time um, and, and letting us demonstrate the account me and software that we, we worked very hard in developing this semester. Thank you.